anybody think they can do it here? Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of uh, potential torchbearers. Would you like to come with us on the road then? Yeah. <laughs> well, first of all, you'd have to get permission from mom and dad. <laughs> um, so this this young young boy has been carrying the torch uh, throughout almost 70 cities so far, and he's going to finish carrying it in Toronto on June 19th. And he has a very big, and if we do that, Ontario will become a leader in the world when it comes to organ and tissue donations. And there's so many more lives that can be saved, so many more happy people knowing that their loved ones are going to be saved, and including your very own Kayla. Wouldn't that be something nice? Yeah. yeah. So, we're going to pray and pray from here on in and do everything that we can to make sure that Kayla receives her precious gifts. Is everybody with us on that? Yeah. Well, that's where we like to hear. No. Now, Colin is, his English still isn't too good, so I'm going to speak for him, but he's got just a few words to share. Uh, Colin loves hockey. Uh, he loves the Toronto Maple Leafs. Any Maple Leafs fans here? I know, I know they haven't been doing too good lately, but, uh, and uh, he also loves Canada. He loves Ontario. He loves all the communities he's been going through. I love you. And he loves you. So, <laughs> so Khaled is, is going to say uh, uh, just a very few brief words and and then um, Kayla are, are you up to saying uh, I know you've been doing it for quite a while maybe just a few more words after Kayla and then we, maybe we can wrap it up then okay okay perfect so here's Khaled please give him a big round of applause hello My language, Arabic, I don't speak too much English. Um, just I to say thank you, thanks everybody. And we hope for Kili, Kili. Yeah. for uh, his wish for coming so soon. And we pray, pray? Pray. Pray for you. And thank you so much. I love you. Thank you. Um, I would just like to thank everyone, like the teachers and uh, kids, for letting me be able to take part in this. And Miss Norman, who got them to come to our school, thank you. And um, yeah, I just want to say thanks for your support. And thank you. What I want to do is, uh, you know, the, the restaurant that Mrs. Norman was at was the was Boston Pizza, and uh, Boston Pizza has been supporting the Torch for Life in, in the cities that they go to. So we have the representative uh, from Boston Pizza here with us, and she's also a former student of ours. So she has something to give to you on behalf of Boston Pizza for hosting Torch for Life today. Come on up. Hi everyone, my name's Farron and um, I did go to this school growing up from kindergarten to grade 8. So um, I brought a uh, special gift for everyone. So it's a free kids meal for every single one of you. So you guys can come on into Boston Pizza with your mom and dad and your family and have um, a free kids meal with us. Okay? okay. And uh, George wants to thank one more sponsor here. Come forward. Homewood in Guelph? In Cambridge, okay. Thank you. We're just happy to see so much support here. Um, and it's great. Thank you very much. So boys and girls, that's uh, 
the end of our presentation here, but uh, if you wish, uh, perhaps some of the older greys can come up and meet uh, our friend here. And uh, if you wish to get any autographs, you can, or, or get a picture taken with him, you can, okay? So, let's give a round of applause for all our present presenters today and for the Torch of Life program. We wish you best of luck. We wish you best of luck. Thank you. Okay, so older greys, if you wish, you can hang around a little bit, come on up and talk to uh, our guest here. And uh, I guess the younger grades, you can make your way inside as well. Thank you very much. Very Start again. I haven't gone on. I haven't gone online. Where did you start? What city did you start? Come on. Kenora. Wow, isn't that nice? That is a bit of a good journey. He actually he has a pen. That's a good idea. Well, maybe once everybody kind of wraps up, you can ask them. I have one in the. Uh, Are you sure? Yep. Some space, but we got more space inside there. Okay. And do you have the magic marker? There you go. So this picture going here. Yep. Yeah. And here's the uh, picture with the cold press in the port. Oh, wow. And then if you look on the other side, uh, you'll see our. Who wants to go first? You can go, Kayla. Okay. Sure. Choose a spot wherever you want, or if you want to go inside, we're going to start inside eventually. But yeah, you got more room inside, but it's up to you. Your choice. Your choice. It's your real estate. <laughs> I guess it all depends on how much you have to write. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you know that. Just stay writing. Okay, I want a picture. And, and take all the space you want. Oh, well, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. You won't be going anywhere. Don't show Miss McLean that. She doesn't think you can write like that. <laughs> <laughs> got her pulled. <laughs> <laughs> She's got half the awesome. ball, so I very...
and she's just got some beautiful new lungs, so she'll be able to walk that whole mm -hmm. distance. Yeah, we're, uh, we're proud of her tank, we said, because she had to do the yeah. same thing like Kayla at the beginning when we were yeah. doing all this uh, with her. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what we're, we said to her, we said, we're going to pass you the torch next time without the tanks. And that's, yeah. that's what's happening. Yeah. That's, what, yeah. that's beautiful. Amazing. Yeah. Well, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and you put that t-shirt away too when you're gone. Yeah, you gotta get everything.